Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the is valid nodes? I have a quick little example. We'll go and run it. Basically, I have a little block here. When I hit do something, it'll tell me if that block exists. After I do something for the first time, it deletes the block. So now if I hit do something again, it's going to tell me false. That block does not exist anymore. We'll go ahead and close this. We'll get some errors. And these errors are important. It's basically telling me that it cannot access the destroy actor for the generic pickup because it's pending a kill. And that's important when we go over the is valid node. So let's cover that. What I'm doing here is spawning the generic pickup when it starts and storing it into a test object variable. You don't really need to know much about this. All you need to know is when I create that cube you saw, I'm storing it in a variable inside of my widget called test object. So our is valid node. There's actually two of them. There's actually more than two, but the ones we care about, there's one for the time. We're not going to use that one. And then there's, then there is is valid class. We're not doing that one. It's basically the same thing, but only takes a class for the input. And then you have other ones such as directions, GUID, and things like that. We care about the two that are basically is valid for this function icon and is valid with the question mark icon. Now, if I pulled up both of these, is valid, and is valid with a question mark, you may be wondering to yourself, well, what's the difference? Plain and simple, there is no difference. We have a pure node and we have an execute node. And I'll cover the difference between the two of them and why you would want to use one over the other. So our is valid node, it takes an object. Pretty much everything you create inside of Unreal Engine is going to be an object. So it takes an object as an input. It checks to see if it's not null. Null as in nothing's assigned to it or doesn't exist. And the key for the second part is it's not pending a kill. Because Unreal Engine uses a garbage collection system and things can happen multiple times in the same frame, things aren't necessarily deleted immediately. They are marked for kill and then when the garbage collection gets to them, it removes them. So for example, if we were going to destroy this actor twice in a row, we actually get an error on the second one because it's going to be pending a kill. So what I'm doing here is I'm just testing to see if our object is valid. And if it's true, printing out true. And if it's false, print out false. And then right after that, I'm destroying the actor. So when we run through this, right now we have an actor that's valid. I hit do something. It sees if it's valid, prints out true, and then destroys it. The next time I hit do something, it's going to do the exact same thing. So it's going to see if it's valid. It is not because it's now set to null. And then it's going to try to destroy it again. And that's where the problem came in when I showed you the error. It's trying to destroy the actor even though the actor is already gone. Keep in mind, the variable isn't going to get removed when I remove the actor assigned to the variable. The variable just holds something. It holds a generic pickup. When this widget starts up, this is set to null. There is nothing assigned to it. I have no default value set to test object. When I spawn in an actor and assign a value to it, now test object is equal to the actor I just spawned. When I destroy actor, it doesn't get rid of the variable. It just destroys the actor assigned to this variable. And now test object is back to null. So the next time I check and see if it's valid, it's going to give me nothing. So you might be asking, well, what is our other version for? So if we wanted to see if this destroy actor, if we should do it, it's, it's a safety thing, basically. We could take and see if it's valid. We could do our standard if statement. We can go ahead and run it through the if. And then if it's valid, we'll go and destroy it. And now if it's not valid, we won't. We'll go ahead and hit play. Now it's destroyed. We'll do something a few more times. It's false. It's gone. And you notice there's no errors this time. We have no errors because we told it to check to see if it's valid and then do nothing if it's not valid anymore, if it's null. And that's something you want to do. 
if you are working on destroying and deleting things or checking to see if something is valid before you work on it, maybe you don't know for sure if you have a reference to the player yet or if there is actually an enemy you're going to be attacking, you might want to use the is valid node to actually make sure you have a valid target or a valid variable that's holding something and not waiting to destroy before you do something. Now the other version here, we're basically going to run it down here and run it up here. And then we can go ahead and get rid of this. Actually, we don't need that at all. Uh, yes, we do. We need that. So we're going to go and destroy. So how this one works is basically it's the same thing, but it runs it through an execute. It tests our input. It runs it through the node. And this is actually a macro, which I'll show you in a second. And then if it's valid, it go ahead and runs the valid execute. And if it's not valid, it runs the is not valid execute. Basically, all this is is what we just did. It is testing if it's valid, doing a branch, and then outputting a node. It's using a simple standard macro to duplicate the functionality that we had right here. That's it. If we run this, we'll find it destroys it the first time, and then the second time it gives me a bad object because I told it to print out bad object if it's not valid. That's all the difference is. Basically, this is a wrapper or a macro around the is valid that it simply returns instead of a bool a is valid true or is not valid false. Or technically, they're true both times, but this is basically true or false. That's it. That covers our is valid node. Use it if you don't know for sure if something is going to exist or not before you do an operation on it. It's very important, especially if you have things where you don't really have too much control over. Maybe you have a, you're shooting at something and then you're destroying it and maybe you're using rapid fire and for whatever reason, or maybe there's multiple people, for example, two different people could attack the same thing at the same time. Once it's marked for kill, it could still exist for the other person to actually do something to it. And you don't want two people getting points. So you want to check and actually make sure it's valid before you do any operation on it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.